so hello students welcome to plus pramesh in today's lecture what we are going to do we are going to discuss the upsc prelims paper which you know we upsc took this year so in this paper we are going to discuss the set d so we must be aware that the arrangement of questions is in accordance to that so first of all as we begin let us analyze the break up of questions this year which way upsc made it so this year around 10 questions were asked from modern history 10 questions were asked from modern history and all those questions that were asked were manageable from the sources that has been provided to us we usually do those sources another five questions are asked from art and culture that were also manageable ancient history two questions medieval two questions geography See, uh, this year the chunk of geography is little higher than the previous years. 12 questions they have asked. Economy, 19 questions as usual. They ask in that way. Environment and ecology, 10 questions. Science and technology, a bit high. 19 questions this year. Polity, 17 questions they have asked. And international relation, 3 questions. So altogether, paper was quite a bit, I must say, was on was sort of application based. We are supposed to put our minds. Elimination game has to be played. So this way paper was asked. So aage kya karenge hum? Next, which approach? What are the approaches we are supposed to take in order to attempt this paper? Number one, we must be aware of the facts. Many of the questions have been asked that were based on facts. Another, you have, you, we need to have knowledge. The conceptual clarity of the things is required. Elimination technique. See. Uh, when we are stuck in any of the option, we are supposed to eliminate the wrong options that the elimination technique has been used. Intelligence guesses are supposed to be used. And last but not the least, in those questions, we are not aware of anything. We are supposed to leave those questions. So this way, we should be revolving in this paper. Okay. So let us start practicing. Uh, let us start doing what the scenario is this year. So first of all, uh, let me uh, check the first question. With reference to the cultural history of India, consider the following pair, <coughs> following pairs. A uh, little hesitation I'm having. Number one is Parivrajak, renunciation and wanderer. We usually read these facts in history, in ancient history. So Parivrajak is a renunciation. Those a Grahatyagi kind of person is renunciated. So wherever the one option is not coming, that is option C. So we eliminate that. Okay. Then Shramana. Priest with highest status. No, no, no. Shraman and Parivrajak are same. Shraman Parampara, those are the wanderers. There were two things in ancient times. At the times of Buddha and Jaina, was Shraman and Brahman. We, are, we must be aware of that. So option two will be eliminated. So wherever you are, we are going to find option two, we eliminate that option. So option A will be eliminated and D. Mere use of elimination technique, option B will be the answer. Option B will be the answer. This way, this question has been managed. Upasaka, a lay follower of Buddhism. What you are supposed to do from now is that from now, we are going to revise the previous year question papers also. Only those papers are going to help us the uh, help us to uh, to know how UPSC is asking the question. The attempting question attempting techniques is actually understood by these previous year papers only. Okay, uh, the next one. Let me move it further. Another one is with reference to the Indian elephants. Consider the following statement. See, this was uh, in the scenario. This question was supposed to be asked. The Kerala incident happened. So here what it goes. Option one is asked the leader of an elephant group is female. Possibly. I'm not much aware of that. The maximum gestation period can be 22 months. Okay. An elephant can normally go on carving till the age of 40 years only here it comes this catch 40 years only now i will use elimination technique on all the extreme statement till the age of 40 years only it's you know little big can normally go on carving so 
इस पर मैं अपना संशय रखूंगा आई लिटिल फोकस ऑन दिस पोर्शन सो आई एलिमिनेट ऑप्शन सी एंड ऑप्शन डी नाउ इट कम्स वन एंड टू सो टू इज करेक्ट नाउ Among the states in India, the highest elephant population is in Kerala. Kerala has so many elephant population, but the thing is that highest number of population is in Karnataka. If we have read a little more in environment in ecology, we must be aware of this fact. So four option will get eliminated. So option B also will not work. Whether we are aware of one or not, we can attempt it now. So option A will be answer. Okay. simply elimination technique has been used let's move it further another question which of the following protected areas are located in kaveri basin nagar hole national park papikonda satyamangalam tiger reserve vinayad wildlife sanctuary see papikonda is in godavari basin and kaveri is in uh, karnataka kerala kaveri basin is in karnataka kerala and tamil nadu we have ample amount of news we have heard about this kaveri issue the water treaty that has been a bone of contention between the two states so we have read a lot about that so we are aware of papikonda and this papikonda all these tiger reserve has been asked repeatedly in upsc previous year questions so what we can do we should we must be aware of the location of these things kaveri nadi is from brahmagiri and a nearby nagar hole so option 1 is correct 2 is incorrect so wherever 2 is coming i will eliminate that so option a will be eliminated option d will be eliminated 1 is correct so see the thing is that 1 is correct 2 is incorrect so what it will give us option c mere elimination way elimination technique is helping us a lot okay this way we have done this question also let's move further see this question is mere factual we cannot remember all these things so what we are supposed to do whether intelligent guess uh whether this is mere factual question also so we can leave that also with reference to the indian biodiversity ceylon frogmouth copper smith barbet grey chinned minivet uh white throated red start are birds hai yeah, na it is mere factual question possibly we have gone through these but you know it's little dicey what we can do that white throat red start so throat makes a difference in birds primates are not primates are not white reptiles less chances amphibians so option a so i cannot do much into that you basically ask this question very factual bahut zyada facts ka istemal kiya gaya hai isme this one this one is quite easy and tricky question which one of the following protected areas well known for the conservation of subspecies of indian swamp deer bara singa that thrives well on hard ground and exclusively graminivorous so first of all we are supposed to concern the keywords graminivorous is ghas khane wala grass that feeds on grass the so graminivorous okay hard ground see bara singa this indian swamp deer mm madhya pradesh government has given a mascot to this kana national park i guess bura singh it was in news bura singh so this option is correct because it is the state my animal of this mm, madhya pradesh also manas is also there but uh, the conditions are not getting mentioned here so option b will get eliminated it's got easy question hai na this can be managed easily let's move further this question steel slag can be used can be the material for which of the following kya construction of base road see steel slag is that raw kind of steel by product kind of thing can it be used for base road yes yes this thing can be used we are using our common sense into that so option 1 will work here so option 1 will work so what i'm supposed to do it here mm option 1 will work so option b will be eliminated okay improvement of agriculture soil steel can be used in nutrient in in building nutrients of a soil so this can also be used see these are pet questions of upsc typical way of 
asking questions upsc is doing so option 2 will be done so one will work also so two option jahan pe nahi hai we will eliminate that also option 3 production of cements very true so one two three option d this question is quite easy most of the students have managed this question okay so i think i should move further another question which one of the following is most likely places to find the musk deer in its natural habitat what one what is this ascot wildlife sanctuary okay gangotri national park kishanpur wildlife sanctuary or manas national park see musk deer is found in himalaya in cold region very very cold region so manas will not work so four will get eliminated so we have eliminated two options already that's nice see this kishanpur wildlife sanctuary is little famous and it is in tarai region it is not on hills so this three option will get eliminated and what we will get option a the thing is that gangotri national park we are much aware but at escort was it, it's a very little place and it was not in news also so it's quite tough for us but this way elimination way we can do it let me move further another question in rural road construction the use of which of the following is preferred for ensuring environment sustainability or reduce carbon footprint okay so the thing is that what logic can be used here cold mix asphalt technology asphalt is dammer you know the black thing cold mix asphalt asphalt technology and hot mix asphalt technology both of do two cannot come together so where we are seeing two and four together we will eliminate that and see the thing is that we need to have cold technology in order to reduce the albedo effect and the amount of radiation <coughs> sink in sink <coughs> or, or absorbed by this asphalt anything so 2 and 4 will not come together so we have eliminated it and 4 will also not be there so 4 will be eliminated copper slag can be used okay and now 1 2 3 and 1 5 portland cement cement ki jo roads hoti hain carbon footprint will reduce it so it will you know uh, city makes an urban island uh, heat island urban heat island so it will you know absorb lots of heat and it will create so much of temperature uh, in, the, in in its surrounding so five option will not be there also so option a by hook or by crook we can go into that it's little tough question but it can be managed also let's move further another one is one of the easiest one it is highly probable question most of the textbooks has have covered these types of questions so what is that coal ash content contains arsenic lead and mercury option 1 is correct totally correct so where one is not given usko humne kaat diya we have eliminated that okay coal power plants releases sulfur dioxide bilkul very true so what it comes option d easy one we can do this way also let's move further what is the use of bio car in farming ab it was in use more or less it has been in news in our textbooks also bio car so bio car can be used bio charcoal can be used as a growing medium in vertical farming very true we all know about this so option 1 is true wherever option 1 is not used we are going to eliminate that so option b has been eliminated that's very nice when bio car is a part of the growing medium it promotes the growth of nitrogen fixation organ, uh, organism surely nitrogen fixation legumes it will happen so option 2 is also correct so wherever 2 is not mentioned eliminate that also another one is 3 when bio car is a part of growing medium it enables the growing medium to retain water for long obviously whenever we are spreading bio car by bio car water retention will be more so option 3 is also correct quite easy question option d is our answer okay let's move further 
this one consider the following can be considered as public investment in agriculture public investment in agriculture easy question let us you know uh, understand this fixing minimum support price for agriculture produces of all crops yes it's true see public investment government is investing in agriculture system that means it is providing dividends in the coming times for agriculture is for the farmers so fixing minimum support price is very true option so what we are supposed to do here option 1 is correct so option 1 is correct so we are going to eliminate option c okay commercialize uh, computerization of primary agricultural societies it's very true they will be uh, they will be in a on, in a good position in order to run their business in order to do their normal chaos transactions and everything so option 2 is also correct wherever this option 2 is not mentioned eliminate that so 1 2 is true ab see we are left with option a and d which way we eliminate questions option 5 is also correct because in option 1 and op option a and option d 5 is mentioned so setting up cold storage facilities by the government very true if if farmers are provided with the facility of cold storage they won't be lagging anything another thing is social capital development simply in order to do investment in order to enhancement in order to development social capital is required means every person is enhanced and provided with the abilities that he can realize his future dreams in a much better way social capital option 3 will be correct so option d this way we have approached waiver of loans by banking system i was not you know i was little skeptical about this thing but you see what we are at the end of the day we have to follow the upsc uh, answers upsc options which are given you know this also supports the farmers free electricity supply to farmers it supports farmers also this is investment in agriculture okay this question the next one what is the importance of interest coverage ratio of a firm in india it helps in understanding the present risk of a firm that a bank is going to loan to exactly interest coverage ratio simply with simple understanding we can understand that this is going to happen okay a benchmark has been given in interest coverage ratio that means the interest coverage ratio that how much investment it has been doing that investment uh, interest will be covered so this works it helps in evaluating the emerging risk of a firm to firm that a loan is going to give loan to yeah sure this one is also correct so where option a is not there eliminate that now one is there one two three what two is not there so option c will get eliminated now Uh, if we are not aware of that also we can make a toss another one the higher a borrowing firm level interest coverage ratio the worse is its ability to service itself this option is written but it is opposite higher is the borrowing firm level level of interest coverage ratio higher means greater chances to return you know so we eliminate this option c will not be there option a it's a static portion thing uh, we have read it many times so this was considered question considerably uh, i can you know just put this question in the category of uh, moderate question okay medium level of difficulty this one which of the following factors policies were affecting the price of rice in india in the recent past राइस का प्राइस है कभी बढ़ जाता है कभी घट जाता है सो विच वे इट वर्क मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस श्योर इट अफेक्ट द प्राइसिंग ऑफ राइस मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस जस्ट एलिमिनेटेड गवर्नमेंट ट्रेडिंग या श्योर गवर्नमेंट स्टॉक पाइलिंग इफ वी स्टॉक पाइल एनी थिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू हेम्पर द मार्केट एंड प्राइस राइस विल टेक प्लेस बिकॉज सब see price rise how this price rise happens demand and supply we are going to curb the supply then demand will increase demand will lead to price rise this way things happens we have read in monetary policy and a demand and supply concept we are much aware of that simple basic economics we do option c 3 is there 
कंज्यूमर सब्सिडी थ्रू वेरी श्योर सो ऑप्शन डी ऑल आर ट्रू दिस इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी इजी क्वेश्चन इजी और मॉडरेट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट वन दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ पैटर्न हैज बीन आस्ड इन यूपीएससी मेनी टाइम्स इन द प्रीवियस इयर्स दैट इज वाई आई ऑलवेज सजेस्ट यू पीपल दैट ऑलवेज वर्क अपॉन दिस एलिमिनेशन टेक्निक एंड अंडरस्टैंड द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन विच वे यूपीएससी आर फ्रेमिंग द ऑप्शन number 1 the value of indo sri lanka trade has consistently increased in the last decade okay consistently increased in the last decade in 10 years consistently increased it's quite a vague statement it never happens like that ki kisi bhi saal unka trade kam hi nahi hoga aisa nahi hota hai so option 1 so i supposed to eliminate this one so option a and option d will get eliminated because i was seeing the graph one year their trade decreased okay another thing text and textiles article constitute an important item of trade between india and bangladesh chances are there very much because bangladesh is a thriving economy on merchandise uh, apparel textile sector hai na it's uh, bangladesh vietnam all are doing very well into that in the last 5 years Nepal has the largest trading partner of India in South Asia. Seriously, man? No. Nepal? No, not at all. By logic, we can do that. Option C will get eliminated. So option B. So use of elimination. ठीक है. Basic understanding. See how can uh, Nepal, which has a very less economic base, be the largest trading partner with India in South Asia? Many other countries we have. so it cannot be like that so let's move further another question in which one of the following all the groups are the four countries of g20 this question i consider to be little tough why so because it is you know it's uh, always not easy for us to remember all the countries name all the countries name in a single place so quite tough for us so i knew that saudi arabia was not a member so i eliminated this indonesia was not a member i eliminated this malaysia was not i eliminated this so option a is there but in such kind of questions we are supposed to have the facts in front of us that is the only way we can attempt we can eliminate also that one of the member cannot be there but how can it be possible for us to remember all the facts every time so it's little dicey situation what you are supposed to do use some logic also you have to have some fix prefix knowledge in order to attempt such kind of questions okay so let's move further this one this question is very nice i love such kind of questions these are mere logics what under the kisan credit card scheme short term credit short term credit support is given to farmers for which of the following purposes one is working capital for maintaining farm asset it can be true okay purchase of combine harvester tractors mini trucks okay consumption requirement of farm household post harvest expenses another thing is construction of family houses and setting up village cold storage facility see short term credits are given for short term use not for long terms and short term credits are very less whenever we go to our father or mother ma'am mama i need some pocket money thode paise chahiye i want to see movie short term credit they are giving us so they are not going to give us upsc fees 2 lakh rupees see my son have this uh, check of mine and ash karo ja ke aisa to nahi hota hai short term credit thoda sa hota hai 500 rupees de diye bahut hai aapke liye you just better enjoy that so purchase of combine harvester that is going to uh, yeah, that is going to cost a lot so option 2 will get eliminated so wherever the option 2 is given eliminate that just simple and see kisan credit card is for kisani things for farmer things it is not for personal use like family house and all these things no 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 so five will also get eliminated so this way option b comes out to be the best option the best choice that we are having and in life the best choices are going to create the best outcomes 
So one, three, four, done. Option B. Let's move further. Now this one. So uh, I just made me myself made a little mistake into that. the weightage of food price consumer index is higher than that of wholesale price index this one is true wpi does not capture changes price of services which cpi does rbi has now adapted wpi as key major no that minimum anchor thing so option 3 will get eliminated so 3 will get eliminated then here it comes to be option a so I just made a little mistake over here. So this should be given A, option A. Okay, let's move further. This question is little moderate level. This one. Consider the following pairs. Mekong, Andaman Sea, Thames, Irish Sea, Volga, Caspian Sea, or Zambezi, Indian Ocean. So Mekong River is in South China Sea. And Andaman Sea, Mekong River comes from China and drains through Highland. So it is not many other countries also. Andaman Sea is nearby. Andaman and Nicobar. So this option will not work. So option A will get eliminated. So I'm going to eliminate option A and option D. Very true. Thames River. I'm aware of that. That is in North Sea, not in Irish Sea. So this will also get eliminated. I'm very much sure of this Volga River. Volga is in Caspian Sea. You know? Volga is in Russia. And it has been in news also from Volga to Ganga kind of thing, uh, campaign has been started. Past one, two years, um, uh, literally I'm not remembering that, but it was in news. So Volga river is in Caspian Sea and whatever the location, whatever the river, whatever the thing is in news, we are supposed to follow that. So Caspian Sea, Zambezi, Indian Ocean, very true. Option C is the answer. So what we are supposed to do, all the important rivers of the continent are supposed to be covered in true and letter spirit. And that is going to help us very much. Let's move further. Another one is consider the following statement. In the case of all cereal pulses and oil seed, the procurement at minimum support price is unlimited in any state. See the catch. A here elimination technique will work. How? In case of all cereals, pulses and oil seeds, MSP will be there. No, man. There is a certain limit. And for MSP, government provides us a list of that. So this is not going to work. So option one will be eliminated. So A and C will get eliminated. Now, in the case of cereals and pulses, the MSP is fixed in any state UT at a level to which market price will never rise. No, this kind of thing we will won't happen. Logically, we can see this. And market price will never rise. It's a very vague kind of statement. So both one and two will get eliminated. This way we can work it out. See, originality is nothing. It is an art of conceiving from resources. Resources has provided, provided us the basic concepts and knowledge. Which way we are interpreting out of those things, this is the ultimate catch. And this catch has been very much accessed in this paper, I can say. So let's move further to the next question. See this one, this was his mere factual question and all the students must be very much aware of that. With reference to the Indian economy, consider the following statement. Commercial paper is a short term unsecured promissory notes. Very true, very true. Option one is true. So wherever we are lagging option one, we are going to eliminate that. So option B and option D will get eliminated. Okay. Another one. Certificate of deposit in long term instrument issued by Reserve Bank of India to corporation. Okay. See, certificate of deposit is, a, is in money market and money market is for short term. And here it is using long term vague statement. And for vague statement, we are going to eliminate that. Option two is gone. So A also gone. So what we are left? 
कॉल मनी इज अ शॉर्ट टर्म फाइनेंस यूज फॉर इंटरबैंक ट्रांजेक्शन ऑब्वियसली सो ऑप्शन सी सो एलिमिनेशन टेक्निक यूज ऑफ नॉलेज बोथ हैव वर्क टुगेदर इंटरप्लेड यूपीएससी हैज ट्वीक्ड अस अ लिटिल हियर सो दिस वे इट हैज वर्क 